try to start the show. Okay, welcome people to Cooking with Ed. A real special. Jar of tomatoes with the legendary winemaker. Can you dig it? Um, we had a few technical difficulties trying to get the show rocking and rolling. But I got communication. I'm trying to get a communication dialed in. Now, I get a little late. It's Saturday. I want two drops. We got tomatoes, right? Now, what's that is in the sink, you get tomatoes washed. Yeah, with my father, the legendary one maker. The jars are already clean with jars of tomatoes, right? And a fresh basil in the jars. Now, what's next? You run. Cut tomato. He's gonna cut his tomatoes. Now, hold on a second. Okay? It's gonna be a tough show. I don't want to miss anything because he goes and, like, like a cracker jack. So hold on, please. I'm gonna we're gonna film him cutting kind of tomatoes so I can show you what he's doing. So please hold. You're on, buddy. I'm on. You're on. I started. You're gonna need stuff out. So if you look in here, we got the tomatoes. He has a catch dish for, for the bad stuff. He knows how to trim his tomatoes for the jazz. He's a legend with the knife. That's my father, the winemaker. Cutting up his tomatoes. Make sure you wash your tomatoes and all the tomatoes in there. How kind of tomatoes are these? Roma tomatoes. We use the Roma tomatoes. Those are my favorite. The one that his sauce is so great. Now, what I want to tell you, right? Yes. You know, keep cutting, Pop. I'm talking to the camera. It's okay. Keep cutting. I'm filming you, buddy. I keep it cut. You're, you're a movie star. You're a star. I'm going to make you a star, Pop. It goes like this. I don't care what you buy in the store. Pastina, San Manzano, Del Rosa. I don't care what kind of tomatoes you buy. Nothing will compare to make a sauce than the tomatoes my father jars. Can you dig it? So this is special. For you people, but can you dig it? Yeah, this has enough belt. This is good. See his technique? Old school Italy cut that tomato up. Show him, Pop. You made the dry sauce. This guy? No. I made a cup. The winemaker. And we made it. Just the dry sauce. We've got a cup. So, as we cut our tomatoes, right, we're going to keep cutting them. We'll show you what it looks like in there. See them? Roll with tomatoes, cut them up. So wash your tomatoes, clean your jars, and we got over here, get your basil in there. We'll be back with the next step. Peace out. To give you an idea, these are the jars that he's already done. So if you want a sauce, you come in here, because there's nothing better than the winemaker's Jad rum with tomatoes. Can you dig it? We'll be back, people. Welcome back. I just want to show you where we're at right now. Office said he had cancer. The pain was unbearable. He thought it was the cancer. Best stuff's in there. Good stuff's so over there. White, so the white maker is slicing so and dicing. No cancer. Can you dig it? Um, uh, bacterial infection. We'll be back, people. Some, uh, guys don't usually get it. Women get it. Urinary tract something. The bad. Well, it got back the good. To his kidneys and his bladder. The legend. Now, out, so okay, hold a second, Pop. I'm going to get the camera up. Hold on. Don't, don't start yet. We'll back. Want to make a wine? Go back with Pipe and they're going to talk. They're going to decide about the edge off. Working with the legend. Hold on, let me do a little bit. Want my two? I got the beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do some of the work. 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 We do some that's how we do it here. They scrub here. Scrub here. Yeah. 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 We have a wolf pack house going on. You see everybody in the field. And for this, I do. I'm bringing on this. Okay. <laughs> He's finished slicing the Dyson. And now, we're going to jar. So now I'm going to pause and I'm going to zoom in on the legend of my paper. Oh, wait a second, Pop. Yeah. Oh, this guy. I got another glass of wine. Do you, do you run, Pop? Okay, get started. You get started. I thought you boiled the tomatoes and you put them in the jar and then boiled them shut. Um, we'll zoom in. That's what I thought. Yeah. So you now just the messy pot, just put them in the jar. I mean, you need to have a basil leaf in the jar, your wood spoon, and the legend of winemaker. Hey. This is a classic. Pause it for a sec. 
Okay, I had a discussion with the crew, and we want to ask the wine maker a question. Your pop. I do a good job, isn't it? Yeah, you do a good job. We got to ask you a question. Yes. One of the, the guests want to know what's the purpose of the basil leaf in the jar with the tomatoes? They give it the test. The taste? The taste, yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. Were you squeezing out the juice there? Yes. Try to be more camera. Love, love the camera pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. That's what we like to see, Pa. How can we drain the juice out? Because it's better. It's better? It's it's better. Yeah, the fish become more dry. Why? Why do you drain the juice out? Because it becomes more dry. Okay. We're going to have film doing another jar. The pa, what do you mean? The sauce will be more dry if you drain the water, the juice out. Yeah, because there's no water in it. Oh, so it'll be less watery. Yeah, yeah. It'll yes. be thicker. Right. Yes. Thicker. So, that's, that, that's the word I understand better. You'll have a thicker sauce, thicker sauce if you drain the juice out of the jar. He's stuffing it quick now. He's going. Now you get your wooden spoon and ram it in there. Stuff for good people. This is a winemaker. This is a legend. Winemaker. Nobody can do better than my father, the winemaker. A true legend. I do everything. That's I right. Everything. That's right, Paul. You tell him. That's we'll be wow. back. We we're ready, ready for the next procedure. So people, dry your tomatoes, stuff your tomatoes in with your basil leaf, drain the juice so you have a thicker sauce. If you don't drain it, drain it when you cook it, it'll be a more watery sauce. We'll okay. so be back in a flash jack. Peace out. Second, okay, Pa, another guest for the Wolf Pack wants to know how, what preserves the sauce in the jar of tomatoes from going bad? What do you boil the tomato? Yeah. It will be sealed. The seal? It will be sealed. And how, how that's, long? That's a preserve. Okay, you have to tell you preserve it. How long does it last in the jar after you boil it? Three years. Three years? Okay. Thank you for that. And we'll be back. Oh. Welcome back, people. Um, as we try to make this, the boiling process will be done old school outside. So after we're done stuffing our tomatoes in the jars, we'll catch you back outside. About that black pot where we boil the tomatoes. We'll be back. There's a quick clip here. I'm going to show you what's on an Italian countertop. Hot peppers, ball of wine, Italian dry sausage, and a stick of bread disappearing quick. Can you dig it? That's how we relax here while the winemaker's cutting up his tomatoes and jarring them. Peace out. Welcome back, people. I want to show you a couple things. On your covers, right, in your jars, if you look at this, right, a nice rubber ring to, to seal it. The other thing too, right? If you need a quality jar made for boiling, because if you get a cheap bottle and, and when you boil it, right, and, and the thing is going to blow up and you lose your tomatoes, it's going to be a disaster. So if you're going to jar tomatoes, make sure you get a quality jar that's made to take the heat when you boil it outside. You can dig it. Why make it still doing this thing? Uh, we'll be back when we're outside. Make sure you're, you're at when you see the stuff over the jar, ready to get Save boiled. Bad boy John Dosa brought some tomatoes for himself to get jarred. The catch tray for all the bad stuff and father the trims the tomatoes. You know, hey Pa, since we're over here, right? What are you trimming off this bad? What are you throwing away over there? The waste, they're not no good. Yeah, but what, what's bad in the tomato? When you cut up your tomatoes, right? I know what you want is bad. I know, but the people watch it don't know. What you got? What you cutting off that you don't use on a tomato? The stem? Yeah, it's stem on the top. You take it off all the time. Okay, so you because cut off. Because that's a green. Yeah, but it's more than just stem there. What else is in there? That's it. But it's more than stem in that catch catch tray. Some tomato, a little bit of bad, I throw it away. Oh, uh, so you trim out the bad? Yes. Okay, because there ain't the stems in there. We need to we need to get we need to get along for the show. Yes. Okay, we'll be back, people. See it. Why make a hard work? Slice and dice, buddy. Slice and dice. You got it, pal. Pal, what do you say about the tomato? You want to tell the camera about the tomato? There's a Roma, right? Is that Roma? Yeah. That's Roma tomato. The way you're telling John about the tomato? Because I want to give it the seeds here for the farm. You're getting the seeds? Next year. Okay. Which way you want to cut it out? This way? No, no, this way. Like this. All, uh, what do you call them? 
good for the tomato sauce. But have had Roma? Yeah. Is it the best for the sauce? Roma, but it doesn't have a water, be, you said. Uh, no, it's no, water, water. It's dry, yeah. Yeah, let me watch. Let's see it. He's talking about inside of the Roma. But you see it? it? Makes a better sauce. Okay, kind of happy. Told you, a prosciutto. High end. Can you dig it? Prosciutto. Good explanation, man. Although he was saying the ones with the less water are better. Yeah, you know, drank yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah. What do to make sauce to with Romas? David, we'll be back. Think about, we'll be back. 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 We'll yeah. Yeah. I'm going to you tell John about you stuff the tomatoes in the jar, you need to... What do you do? He does one hour session? What do you tell John? Two hours. Two hours? He said not to do it too so hard. to break the jar. Yeah. yeah. So, how do you stuff it? Like, like say, you say, do it tight, tight, or how? Yeah, so, yeah, so when you stuff your tomatoes in the jar, that's the Polish. Don't stuff it high, high. Don't stuff it less, less. Do medium. To get all the juice out. Yeah. Right, Pop? So medium stuffing? Yes. Okay, so you do that. To medium stuffing jar. You do that. It's a way to get outside. A lot of wine to be able to hit today. I like that wine. It's quite better. Yeah, what you don't see is my father gave us a ball of wine that someone gave him as a gift. And it doesn't compare. You know, I can't buddy. It doesn't compare to what my father's mind is. Can't taste dirty, right, John? I don't know. Well, we're getting ready to go outside, people. My father's getting the jars in the basket. We'll be back in a flash jack. Play games inside? You want to turn them on side? Yeah. Let me shut up the first one. Okay, okay. Then I call you. You're going to call me, and uh, why can't I film you setting up? I call, I call you. I don't like this. Watch it. Yes. Trying to film with this guy is the job in itself. So we're here to wine maker outside. We're going to zoom in. We have a, a pot, right? I'm going to show you everything in a minute. Propane, heat up the water, we boil the water? Yes. Okay, how much water do you have in there? Uh, when I put the bowl in there, I cover up the pot. Okay, he's going to add the jars to the pot, and we'll be zooming in the pot in a minute. Okay, pot, do your thing. Now, in the pot, he has a little, um, no like on a, yeah, on a grill, like a charcoal grill, your um, your grate on top. He has that in there on the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna zoom in a minute. Ed, what? How tight does he put them before he puts them in? How long? How tight do you put the um, Mr. John Durson wants to know how tight you put the, the, the lids on. How tight? How tight do you do the covers? Very tight. Very tight. Did you hear that? He said very tight. Now, how long do we boil them for, Pop? Half hour. Half hour you boil them. Okay, now I'm going to show you what? Half hour after it starts boiling. Yes. Half hour after it starts boiling. We have a tech team over here keeping me sharp for the whole show. Can you dig it? Okay, Pop, don't cover up yet. I want, I, want, I want to film this. Okay, we're going to get a live shot right now. Okay, I'll show you what we got. So you cover the jars with water. Yeah. Okay, see it? Yeah. See the setup? Your propane, your line. The the table. Yeah, the second like part. We'll get there in a second. I want to show me this. I mean, this guy, yeah, I'll tell you what all the wine he had, he'd be a little bit more calm. Some people, the wine makes you tired, and some people, it jacks you up. It jacks my follow up. See yeah, nice little stones. Hold That's a second, part. One second, part. One second, buddy. <laughs> see how you're nice up here with the bricks? The pot. It's all rock and roll in the lid. His little charcoal grill, his garden all, all done, finished for the season. Yes, Pop, what do you want to show us? There you go, the wine maker. His table right there, is that part of his table? Huh? What do you want to say? Me, I want to want to say? Yeah. I got to put the cover on. Okay, go ahead. Well, we'll film you put the cover on. Do your thing, pal. How much water, Eduardo? I got to put one stop it, put a little bit of water. One stop it. Okay, so that's it. Half hour once the water starts to boil. Right, Tony? The, boiling. the king says after the water boils, half hour. That's it.
We'll be in back. one hour, we'll be done. Okay, buddy. We cook, we eat, we drink. We party. <laughs> Welcome back, people. Are you waiting for the jars to cool in the pot? Yes, that's my drink, Pally. We're running wolf pack. My young cello. Lemon cello made by John Durso. Scorpia. Bad boy John Durso. Salute. Homemade. Salute. Manja. Salute to the quality, right? Saluto a tutti. E la mia prima. Wow. What he said. This is good stuff. The mountain lemon cello John makes for the kicks. Oh, yeah. It goes like this. Before we do the closing, right? Just remember. Every show. It's memory of my mother. Who knows, Mickey the we queen do the Italian style here. And as you watch us from above, we run Wolf Pack for, for life. Six and four. Yeah, can you dig it? Can you dig that plan? <laughs> yeah, we'll be back. My father wants to carry his jar. I'll be back next year. <laughs> to the shelf. Have more jars next year. Wine. Yeah. Every goddamn thing. Vino, sausage. So my father wrote his own script, and so we're going to follow his script today. <laughs> so we'll be back. Why well, should bring the jar to the shop? So we'll be back, people. <laughs> you no, know, because he's complaining about his leg. Okay, welcome left. back, people. Um, the jars are out hmm? of the tub. I tripped on. Want to be put one there, take it off. Mm, that's okay, pal. It's all done. It's all done. Now the wine maker, all happy. Not on tape. Trying to watch him. It's done. It's done. We're rock and rolling. Right. He wants this. Well, he's going off script. He wants me to follow him into the storage room. Right, Here we go. Follow him back. Yeah. So what my father wants this is what the wine maker gets. His pride and joy. Take his nice jazz. Add a couple more to his 160 jars. And yes, I'll be robbing this cupboard. Like I do it every year. You want to make a good sauce? Nothing better than the winemaker's Roma Jatinez. Oh yeah. Bet you wish you had a storage room like this. I got a key to this house. <laughs> Limoncello does it every oh, time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good job, Pop. Give a thumbs up to the camera. Okay, we're we'll closing now. Welcome back. Uh, we have some technical difficulties with the wine maker following instructions, but it's all good in the hood. Thank you for joining us, Coco with Ed. John Tomatoes with the wine maker. Is that number one? Yeah. We'll show you how a legend does it. If you want a sauce, like I said, is that better than the wine maker's Roma Jack? You know what it is. Right. You don't have a key to the house, I do. Can you dig it? If there's a memory of my late mother, can you dig it? We rock it in the kitchen, Number wolf pack one. style, 24 7. She watches from above. And at the end of the day, we eat good, we party good, and we look good, right, Pop? And we drink good. So, yeah. Tune in next time when we give you another special. Just cooking with Ed. We always do the Italian style in this house. Can you dig it? Number one, okay. Peace out, people. Four things.